In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how easy it can be to create a distressed look on text within Corel Draw. I'm going to start by deleting this object. I'll zoom out to my entire page. And now I'm going to import the bitmap image that I want to use to create this effect. When you're selecting bitmap images to create the distressed look, look for images that have a lot of texture to them. Ideal candidates would be images close up of bark on a tree, faded wood, rusty metal, and various things like that. I'm going to size this and drop it onto my page. And now I'm going to crop out the portion of the image that I want to use. That's all there is to it. Let me go ahead and I'm going to reposition this. Make sure it covers my text. It doesn't really matter if I stretch it like this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is go to my bitmap menu, down to Mode, and I'm going to select Grayscale. Let me just zoom in on this a little bit. Now, from the Effects menu, down to Adjust, I'm going to select Tone Curve. By adjusting the Tone Curve on this, I can control the levels of grays in this image. I'm going to bump this up a little bit. That's going to make my whites a little bit whiter. I want my blacks a little bit more intense. And simply click OK. Now, the next thing I need to do with this object is convert it to a black and white image. A black and white image is a one bit image. That bit is either black or white and we have the ability in Quill Draw to toggle those colors and change them. So from my bitmap menu I'm going to go down to mode and I'm going to select black and white. Here I want to make sure that I select line art and I also have the ability of adjusting the threshold on this. You play around with that, you get more or less of an effect on it. Let me bump that up a little bit more. And I'm going to click OK. Now it's simply a matter of changing the colors. If I left click on the X, it's going to remove the fill from the object. If I right click on the X, it's going to remove the outline from the object as it were. So for here, what I want to do is I want to left click on the X. The color I want to select for my right click would be the color of the shirt itself. An easy way to do that is double click in my status bar on the outline color. I'm going to select my eyedropper and then simply click on the color of the shirt. I'll click OK and that's all there is to it. Very easy to create the distressed look in CorelDRAW with simply adding a bitmap over top of it. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and you're looking for additional resources, head on over to the Discovery Center at learn.corel.com. You'll also find a number of regularly scheduled training events, Corel customer forums, as well as my book entitled Bring It Home with Corel Draw, a guide to in-house graphic design, and the essentials of Corel Draw X8 from lynda.com. Thanks for watching.